What is up everyone? Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. My name is Saren Death, and today we are playing Zagara. Let's get into a game. The swarm endures. Alright, today we're playing in the Infernal Shrines. My team Zagara, Vala, Johanna, Greymane, Li Ming, and team Abathur, Rexar, Greymane, Tychus, and Li Ming. Okay, I'm probably end up doing my own thing here. Hello. Okay, so, um, we're gonna be going with Reconstitution for our first talent, per, uh, health regeneration bonus on creep is increased by 200%. Our ability's are really quick. Our trait is called Creep Tumor. This allows us, it has three charges on a 15 second cooldown uh, for each charge. It's going to allow us to put down creep. It's gonna give us vision, uh, movement speed for ourselves and for our little dudes that we summon, our little peoples. And it's gonna give us some health regen. And that health regen is gonna be increased by a bit. We're going to throw one up between the bush. We should be uh, be able to play a little safe. Um, we're going to throw one out here as well. Okay, our Q is called Baneling Barrage. It's a skill shot that sends out a wave of Banelings that are going to deal some damage. Just in case she's still in there, which she's not. Send out some, uh, some Banelings that will uh, deal damage and explode. Okay, so, um, Zagara did see a nerf recently. She, uh, she saw a nerf to the health of her early game. To her early game, um, Hunter Killer, her, her W, the health of her Hunter Killer. So, um, they're not going to be nearly as strong in the early game. I don't know why I was going to put one there. We're just going to grab this. We're going to put some creep down here as well. Okay, and we're going to throw some creep over here. So as you can see, I'm just spreading the creep around, getting some nice little vision going here. Okay, so our W, like I was saying, is called Hunter Killer. This is a targeted ability that summons a, basically a Hydralisk that's going to uh, deal some damage to people in the area. Our E is called Infested Draw Pod. This is going to drop down um, a Draw Pod that's going to deal some damage when it lands. And then it's going to summon out two Roach Lanes that will... Oh, we're going to take some damage there. That's going to deal some damage to everyone else as well. Um, they're going to sit there and they're going to attack and all that. Okay, we are going to sit up here for just a second. And then we're going to rotate. Um, on my way team, I'm going to be just a little tiny bit late to the party. Alright. Hit a mine. I'm going to drop the... the Pods down there. We're taking in Venom Spines for this talent here. And uh, Venom Spines, what this is going to do, this is going to increase our attack range by a bit, and it's going to increase. Uh, we're going to we're going to apply a poison to deal some damage over time. Okay, so we are in a pretty decent spot right now. I am going to drop some tumor down here as well. Oh no! Make him pay! Okay, good, he's paid. All right, so we are 10, they are 22. They're probably gonna get this one unless we're gonna be able to get in here and get some of these down quickly. Uh, their Abathur is pushing in pretty heavy in the top lane. We are gonna be able to push these guys out again. They still need quite a few more. Oh man, their Li Ming is able to just sit in there and poke and get a lot of this taken care of. All right, so they can just sit back and have Misha in there with the hat on. Thankfully, we took it down. Trying to get on their Li Ming. Fantastic. Okay, they only need about six more. We cannot let this happen. We're going to drop some more creep down. Help out where we can. All right, we did get it. We need to get out of here, though. This is where the creep is going to come in handy. We're going to get that nice little movement speed. Okay, so we need to... Uh, this is a Frozen Punisher. We can definitely get some structural damage done here. Probably not going to be a ton. They did the, the smart thing and dropped it in behind their lines. So we're not going to get nearly as much done with this. Uh, Vala's doing a good job. She's going up to soak that mid lane. It's definitely a smart move. We'll get the front wall. Okay, we're just going to do this. Drop some creep there. 
Give ourselves some vision down this lane. All right. And we're going to rotate. So, the uh, the health of the Hydralisks, they were reduced initially. But, that being said... Um, jerk. Put this down here, then. Uh, they do increase... They do have a higher health regen per level, then. So... The, the higher level ones, you're pretty much going to get back to where you would normally be. At this talent tier, we are going to be taking... We don't really need all the creep out on the map. Um, you know what? We're actually going to take Rapid Incubation this time. So Rapid Incubation is a 45 second cooldown ability that's going to give us some health and some mana over time as long as we sit there and channel. Health and mana. We're getting some decent push in the top lane from our Johanna. I'm just going to sit back and play a little passively. I don't want to overextend, especially with the Rexar there. Getting stunned and then getting blown up. Not the best of things. Go Hydralisk. Be my best friend. Alright. I'm just trying to keep this entire area here creeped up. So that way we can uh, get some decent movement speed. Alright, I'm going to uh, put this up there. We're going to drop this, and then we're going to hit him up with the splash. And then we're going to tap. Okay, so... We're just going to tap, get that mana, and then we're going to go up into the up by the shrine. Just going to go the safe way. I don't want to waste too much mana here. When we have a good position to engage, I will. I'm giving us vision. That's kind of what I'm doing. We're going to drop the drop pod down there. Let our little guys do their thing. Go, Hydra. Let's go. All right. We are going to start working on this up here. Oh well, the enemy did get 10. We are going to back out. That's what we needed right there. We need to get 10 as well. Drop this up there. We're actually going to have to back out completely here. We're going to pop that rapid incubation. We're picking up Devouring Maul. Now, Devouring Maul also saw a slight nerf. Alright, um, the nerf, I think that the nerf was actually justified, to be quite honest. The cooldown was increased from 100 seconds to 120 seconds. Um, this is actually a good thing for the game. Devouring Maul on people who are actually really good at hitting with it, unlike me. Okay, just need to be very clear about this. I know my weaknesses with this character. I love Zagar, she's one of my favorite characters in the entire game, but I am terrible with hitting with the Maul. Um, but this is actually very healthy for the game. The nerf is, the nerfs to her aren't that bad. Um, she actually didn't see too many of them, which is good. I I'm glad. All right, good. So we are actually going to put this down here. Their wall was pretty heavily damaged already, so we should be okay. Then drop this in the back. So basically what, it what mall you want to do with it now is you want to be a little bit more reserved. That's kind of what you're trying to look for here. All right. We're going to get on the... Alright, drop this down here. And we're going to back out. Ugh. Really? Really with the Misha stun? <laughs> okay, so we have some decent creep up here now. Um, I'm going to back completely, try and get some, uh, some mana regeneration. I don't want to pop my incubation if I don't need to. It's kind of pointless wasting the cooldown. 
So like I said, it gives you 25% of your health and your mana over 3 seconds. So this is a really great ability for Zagara, who can sometimes run into mana very quickly. Okay, so she's going up there. I'm actually going to rotate down. I'm going to come down here and help with this siege camp. All right, so they're going to know we're doing this. All right, this talent here, we are taking Mutalisk. Now, Mutalisk is going to uh, turn our Hydralisk into a Mutalisk, which will then fly and have bouncing attacks. Oh, these abs are mines. All right. Again, getting some vision. So it was bottom top, so the next one will be mid. If we can get some damage on these uh, these towers, we're going to be in a very good spot. I'm going to start getting the creep set up now. Get ourselves in a decent position. Oh, man. Did we get him? Oh, fantastic job, team. Great work. All right. So, like I said, we're looking at getting structures down. That should be our primary goal right now. This will give us the advantage when we do get the immortal. I'm sorry, the Punisher. Saying the wrong things, saying the wrong things. All right, let's put some creep down over here. It's always good to uh, to see and to remember where the the shrines have been. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Fat fingered it bad. Okay, so we are ahead on experience, but not by much. We need to be careful here. I'm going to put some creep down over here. Give myself a nice little escape path. Okay, so the enemy is engaging. Like I said, you need to... I'm playing reserve. Alright, I only got the Tychus. Trying to split their team up a little bit. May not have been the best bet right there. It really wasn't. Alright, we're still in an okay spot. It was a bad maul. They were grouped up and I was really trying to get a decent one off there. Like I said, I'm still not great with it. Alright, if we can get 16... Oh, can I get him? Nice job. Okay, so this sounds like we're taking Brood Expansion. It's going to allow us to get a second... Um, a second Hunter Killer that we can toss out there. Okay. Oh, no. Can we get him off of me? <laughs> Just need you to get him off of me. <laughs> oh, well. I even popped Rapid Incubation to try and heal up, but it did not work. It's okay, we are going to be ahead. They are still not 16 yet. They are still down too. We can see that they're moving in right now. We do have the Fort exposed here. She's at 26 out of 40. Uh, Li Ming looks like she is playing the zone game, which is actually pretty good for us, giving us a good chance to... Alright, we're going to head out this way now. Oh, man. Alright, we're going to try and get out here as fast as possible. Hopefully she can get away. I believe she can get away. All right, we did get the Arcane Punisher. He is down. Good job. Good job. All right, we're going to destroy this thing and destroy that one. We are in a very, very good spot. We're going to continue putting our creep down. Again, remember, creep gives us some movement speed, so it gives us the chance to escape and run away. And on a character that does not have an escape, um, it's very, very important that we get these uh, get this down. All right, nice. We got the kill on the Abathur somewhere. I guess it was Li Ming in the bottom lane. Good job. Good job, team. Alright. We need to at least get the tower down. There we go. Put the creep down here. 
Please retreat. Please retreat. I'm gonna stay close just to make sure she can get away. All right, we're good. We're gonna put some more creep down. We're gonna go ahead and tap since we have the opportunity to do so right now. Coming. I'm a coming team. Push this wave out. Again, I'm looking at getting some creep down, getting us some vision. This will give us some vision in the lane. Alright, looks like they want to try and fight. Put the hunter killer on him. We're going to give ourselves some vision here. He comes back around. I was trying to be cheeky there and get the uh, <laughs> get a shot off. All right, we're gonna get ourselves in a better position. We're gonna put some creep down here. So the Roachlings can and will tank for you, which is fantastic for us. We need to try and get 20. That should be our goal right now, so I can get both of the storm and feel a little safer. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be top lane. We're gonna get ourselves some uh, vision in the middle here, so we'll see them rotating up if they do come up this way. Okay, at this talent tier, we are going to take Bolt of the Storm. Now, Bolt of the Storm is a 70-second cooldown um, teleport. It gets us out of danger, and since the guard doesn't really have a um, an escape, this is going to give us an escape. All right, we're going to put the other creep down up here. We are going deep. Oh, another terrible maw. Oh, my word. All right. <laughs> we aren't expecting you to go in that deep, I think, is what is happening. Oh, man, I'm just having a terrible maw tonight. It's funny that we're winning and we're getting a lots of BM here. I don't I don't understand the uh, reasoning behind it. But it's okay. We'll take him out. Alright, we're gonna push her out using the hunter. Give ourselves the vision. We're going to take this wall out and get rid of their vision. Give ourselves some vision in this area. Alright, so it is exposed. Hopefully I can get a at least a single decent wall tonight. All right, keep down. We have a very high health uh, Punisher spell. They are dragging it around. We get out of it. Oh man, that was so close. These are rapid incubation. I'm so very low. Yep. I should have left when I had the chance. Nice. Make up pay. You guys can get out of there. I believe. I believe. You guys are so very low. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. So they have an exposed core. If the team wanted to, they could go ahead and push in down here and uh, take out this keep. But it looks like they're all going to go back. Um, I'm curious what build the Vala went with today. It looks like Vala went with the new auto attack build. Okay, so Vala actually saw some buffs. Um, saw some buffs with uh, for her auto attacks. It looks like she's going that build. Wow, look at her game health, as you can see. Alright. So we have... Put this down here. Like I said, I don't understand why there's so much BM going on right now. We're doing really good as a team. We're fighting together. Which is the important thing. Alright, it's mid. Oh no. We're in a bad spot now. We do really do not want to fight this. I'm really trying to get around you. I really, really am. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Alright. We can do this. Just gonna sit back here in the back, regenerate a bit. With the gray mane. We got this. Gotta be on the creep though. That would help. Give us some vision down here. Push this wave out a little bit too. With my babies. I gotta get at least one good maw on tonight. At least one. It's for escaping purposes, just in case we need it. Give ourselves some vision up this way. Make sure we're not going to uh, get flanked by anyone. Looking for a good opportunity to come in. Got the Hydralisk on their Lee Ming. I'm trying to basically push her out, but it looks like they are... All right, we should be able to win off of this. Looks like I'm not gonna get a chance to to, uh, to get a good maul off. We're gonna win this game. It's gonna be GG. There's really nothing they can do about this. We have the advantage. Uh, we're just gonna put some creep down here too, just because. And that's GG. Good job, team. It was uh, pretty. We we got the lead early and we kept the lead the entire time. Once we got that first Punisher and just kept getting the Punishers thereafter. Uh, the enemy kind of stopped showing up to them after a little bit there, too. So, the changes to Zagara, she, again, health changed on her Hunter Killer. Um, it got nerfed a little bit, but, uh, baseline, but the health per level went up. So, instead of getting 3% per level, it gains 3.5% per level. So, you will get that health back over time. So, it will even out-ish towards the end of the game. So, it's not that big of a deal. It's not, you're losing just a little bit of extra pressure in the early game, which I think is fine, honestly. Her early game pressure is just a little too much to begin with. Devouring Maw saw a cooldown from 100 seconds to 120 percent. 120 seconds. I can talk too, apparently tonight. <laughs> so uh, again, I think that's actually a really good change as well. So here are the stats. Uh, Zagara, as you can still see, is still a beast in combat. Um, I was a little afraid to engage there a few times and uh, definitely got caught out. You know, three deaths there. Um, she is still very squishy, and in the early game, you gotta watch out because she doesn't really have an escape. I was basically using the creep as much as I could there to try and run away, but can't always do that. The talents we went with today, really quick, reconstitution level one, increases health regeneration bonus on creep by 200%. So more health regen on creep. At four, we took the venom spines, which increases our basic attack range and gives us a slight dot on it. So it's like a poison effect that gets applied uh, and it take damage every three seconds. 
At seven, we took Rapid Incubation. This is a 45 second cooldown uh, ability that gives you 25% of your health and mana over three seconds. I like this ability a lot. I don't normally pick it. Um, you get a lot more damage if you go with Battle Momentum. You get a lot more um, vision with Endless Creep. Rapid Incubation is sort of just so you can stay out there longer. Um, I tried using it that one time where the Abathur's Grey Mane was jumping on me, but uh, it didn't quite work so well. I thought my team was going to be able to get it down faster, and uh, I should have just kept running. Should just kept running. Uh, at 10, we went with Devouring Maul. Again, this has changed from 100 seconds to 120 seconds, and I was absolutely terrible with it today. I think I did it two times, and they were both whiffs completely. Uh, so bad, so bad. At 13, we took Mutalisk. Um, this gives our, this turns our Hunter Killer from a Hydralisk into a Mutalisk. It now lasts longer and it has a bouncing attack, so it does a lot more damage in uh, melee, or not in melee, in combat because it will bounce between enemies if they're st if they stick together. Now the enemy was doing a really good job splitting up too. They didn't they didn't really stick together all that much, so I wasn't getting that much damage from it. But it can fly over objects, so it can actually uh, zone people a little bit better. It still does a lot of damage too. At 16, we went with Brute Expansion. This gives us two charges on our Hunter Killer so that we can basically deal a lot more damage or have a lot more sustained damage depending on how you look at it. Um, if you really need to take somebody out and they're really not paying attention, you can get double um, Mutalisks on them and you can take them out very quickly. That being said, Li Ming was definitely taking my guys out when I was throwing on them on her, but they still did a lot of damage to her. So, you know, it just depends on who you want to throw it on. Um, I, I prefer throwing it on the squishies to zone them out of, out of the, the match or make them have to pay attention to the hunter killer because if they're killing that, they're not killing your people. Um, if you can get it on a healer like Lieutenant Morales, even better because then the team has to turn and, and deal with that problem instead of her because she doesn't have a lot of clear. So something to keep in mind when you're trying to choose who you want to target with your hunter killer. And at 20, we went uh, Bolt of the Storm. Uh, this is pretty standard. 70 seconds, teleport. It saved my life a few times there. Um, I can't stress this enough. On characters that don't have escapes, this is almost essentially a must-pick for them. Um, I think that if this was removed from Zagar, you'd see her a lot less in the game. Especially, I, I mean, her, her early game is great and her damage is, is fine, but uh, the lack of escape can get you into terrible situations, especially later on in the game. And having Bolt of the Storm really brings her, you know, kit together fully. Um, but... That's going to be it for today. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. I know it's been a while since I've done a standard uh, Heroes of the Storm game. I apologize for the absolutely terrible Devouring Walls today. I don't know. I, it's, I haven't played Zagara very I don't play her very often anymore. Um, I still really enjoy her, and so I'm kind of out of practice with the Maul. And the Maul really requires the enemy team to be clumped up, too. There was one that I could have gotten a really nice one, but I failed utterly. I failed utterly. Such a whiff. Wow. Um, but like I said, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I will catch you all.